Okay, um, this is a very quick video showing you guys how to uh, create DXF files so that you can transfer these over to the Xtool Creative Space in order to engrave and cut and score this stuff. So here I have a design that I made in just regular uh, AutoCAD here, and uh, it's, a, it's my kitchen cabinets. Um, I have the side panels. So you, have to, you have to kind of think about this. I know we're doing this in 2D, but it's cutting everything out. The laser is going around and, and cutting this stuff out and scribing into here, drawing on here what we want. Uh, so I have my side panels like lined up so they're perfectly the exact same size. Uh, I have the toe kick down here. It's going to go back and attach itself to here once uh, these pieces are cut out. I didn't make a back for it. Uh, but you could make a back panel that basically is the same size as the, um, uh, as the sorry as the back here if you wanted to in the length of this. But I didn't feel a need for that. I could just glue it into my model. A couple of things before I show you this again, really quick. Uh, I could create this file and let it go ahead and cut, but uh, it would take a little bit longer. It's not super efficient uh, because the laser is going to go and follow these lines that I have here. Uh, again, I mentioned this in the other video. You do not want to have trimmed lines in here. So if I had lines extended, I'd trim them out. Um, sometimes that laser is going to read that and, and go over it twice, and we don't want it to do that. So be sure you're, you're like, deleting lines and, and be sure they are going from segment to segment. Uh, but one thing I do want to point out, if you want your uh, cutting to go faster, uh, what I would do, or what I would recommend, is probably getting rid of this one, what I should do, and take this and move this over to here so that it just goes down that laser cuts once instead of having to go cut twice. Uh, like you see over here, the laser is going to come cut here and then cut here again. Why have it do the same thing, you know, the same job twice when we can just have it cut this way? Uh, same thing down here for this toe kick. I would probably want to move, get rid of this, and then select all of this and move it from here to here so it perfectly aligns. Um, that's okay if it cuts out over here. And then probably do the same thing to this over here. Oops. Get rid of that segment. Move all of this. here to here uh, and then what it's going to do is it's essentially going to cut and we do this in in X tool in the creative space it's going to cut we're going to tell it where we want it to cut and on in here we're going to tell it to scribe uh, or score sorry score score all of these so it's going to burn uh, lines in and circles where uh, our detail is for the face frames of our cabinet so it's going to cut out here so once you have your image um, or not image what what you've created what you designed in AutoCAD the way you want it then you're gonna go up to a save as and your dialog box is gonna pop up you can see I have an architecture folder in here um, that's inside some of my my architecture stuff and it saves it as DWG files that's what we've been doing for the longest time but what we want to do instead is we want to save it as kitchen cabinets is fine, but I want to save it as a DXF file. I'd probably use one of the, the uh, latest versions, which is 2000. So you want to change this to DXF. You can see I've already kind of done this. And then click save, and it will save this file now. And now you'll be able to take this, and here we'll just go and say DXF3. And we'll go ahead and be able to save this. And now we can go to our X tool. And we're going to import an image. It's not called anything yet. And we can go to Architecture and Kitchen Cabinets 3 is what we, we just did. And here it comes. And you can see now 
I have that file that I just made. You see the ones that are attached there, how I attach them all on here. Now I can go and say, hey, I want to do that. And I want to cut that. I can adjust my settings and I can go in here and tell that I want to score, adjust my settings and we'll play around and show you how to do that um, in another video. But that's how you make a DXF file to be able to import it into uh, Xtool Creative Space.